Watch, learn, share. This is Jesus Gomez Digital Painting Tutorial. What's up, digital painters? Welcome back to episode 4 of Digital Painting Tutorials. My name is Jesus Conde, and today we're going to have crystals. In previous episodes, we had from sketch to the lighting stage of a dragon skin, so don't forget to check that out. After a votation made on my Facebook page, you guys choose crystals. Then, I uploaded a couple of sketches about which crystal we were going to work on. You choose option B, so that's the one we're going to make, but first we have to make a little research. Okay guys, so remember that always you gotta do some research and look for references before working on something, so these are the references that I found for the crystals. So what exactly are we looking for here? What we what we need to look at is the the thing that makes them look like they look. For example, I notice that they are sharp. They have sharp edges. Give me a second. This is live. Live recording. So, okay. They have like these sharp edges. That's really important. In the corners, in the edges, they have like this little, um, like a little reflection that turns. Look at these little spots of light here. I think this one is actually in 3D. I'm not sure. It's digital made, but it looks awesome anyway. So that's what that's what we want. So these little corners here, they look really good. So we want we have to try to do that. Uh, I want you to notice how it looks almost the same. Um, you have variations of colors, of course, but then they have these little spots of different colors. That's really important. And notice that this color is almost this one, but a different uh, brightness. So they have different in brightness in there. Um, here they have a little of, of blue. Uh, I could say this one has a little bit of yellow orange I think so that's what we're looking for in this case it this is like a gray background so uh, they have these little gray um, faces and notice that all the faces that are looking that way are gray this one this one this one this one all all of the gray ones are are reflecting something that side that is gray okay for the the part i made in the sketch that is like a kind of like a rock it's going to it's going to have to be this way it's like um clearer and brighter color uh, with a bit of gray so we're going to have to try to achieve that also, I want you to notice that look how the in this in this reference. Let me see if I can see that in other ones. Yeah, here happens too. The dark parts are pointing up. Look how it starts um, bright and it turns darker. So that happens here too, and that happens here too. Oh, and look at this. The bright ones are the same, but it's the bright is on top. Here is bright, and here is not bright. So we have all the, all the information going on. Look, this is a reflection in here. It looks exactly the same. This, is, this case is really special. Um, somebody want me, wanted me to do a, a tutorial about this kind of material. Let's see if I can achieve some some of some of this in this one. Um, it's a bit difficult, but because I really don't know what's happening in there. Uh, it turns of it turns of colors, like three or four different colors in there. So I kind of want to have to do some research about that kind of material. 
but yeah, in this case, because of the crystals, I could say that it's reflecting something of that material. So look at how the all the purple is going like to us. Sorry, but the yeah, all the purple is looking this way and the green is kind of looking that way and yellow I don't know so I just wanted you to kind of understand what what you what you have to look for when you pick up some references and I want you to notice how there is a lot of dark it's like transparent you can see to the other side or maybe maybe this is this isn't the other side Maybe it's a reflection. Um, is there is some of refraction in there, of course. Uh, you can watch the liquid tu liquid tutorial. I, I say a little bit about refractions in there. And so it, that is really important that you that you think when you look at references. So let's let's do this not not too not too large. It's too much time. Um, so you can see here all the little faces pointing that way here all those little faces we have have to recreate that and this one are looking up some of them are looking up and the dark thing that I told you darker towards towards the the pointy end and okay well we have to achieve these shadows too it's gonna be interesting to work on this. We got my pencil brush that we created on the first episode. So I'm going to use it for the rocky part. When you do the sketch, you gotta try to feel free, you know, like um, don't try to don't try too hard making it because you're going to come out wrong. Uh, you gotta relax about it and just let your hand do the work. Like really easy without forcing it. <clears throat> That will do for the rock part. I want to do a little, a few, a few ones um, just floating in there. Yeah, kind of like a game stuff. Crystal floating in the air. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and for the pointy parts, we're going to. Let me block this layer. I always create new layers and block the others that, that I have so I don't make mistakes. So we're gonna have to use a, a, a brush that it doesn't change anything. But let's take the pencil one and put that properties on so you can see how it's done. So I want to press F5 and I bring up my brushes properties. So the other dynamics, or how it's called in the new Photoshop's transfer, um, you can take that one off and shape dynamics too. So you have like there's no pressure in this. this um, there's no pen pressure on this uh, brush. So it's always the same um, level of uh, thickness. I'm going to put a name, whatever name you want, and with the shift button, what we're going to do is, I'm going to click where I want to start, close, closer, I want to click where I want to start, and then shift and where I want to end, and this is what I get, I get completely straight lines using the shift button on the keyboard. So let's do that. Let's make straight lines. 
Um, this because it's a crystal and this is supposed to be perfect. So let's just make a few details. I thought uh, yeah, oh, this line art doesn't look cool enough, so let's add some cuts on the on the crystals, and let's see what happens. And they look kind of cool, so I'm going to keep making a little bit more of those. This will be it for this uh, episode. Okay guys, this is it for this episode. Don't forget to use the link in the description to download the additional content. It comes with the liner, which you can use to paint on, and references that we talked about. Also with the image of the next chapter. In the next episode, we are going to make some basic coloring for these crystals and start detailing. Also, please check out my other videos and subscribe to this channel if you want to keep tuned for next tutorials. Please take a second to write a comment on which tutorial should I do next, and I'll take that in consideration to make a votation on the page. Please support me by adding me in any of these other networks, it really helps a lot that you take time to share my videos and give me a like. I wanted to share with you this quote, success is the sum of the small efforts repeated day in and day out, by Robert Collier. So don't forget to practice a lot, because practice makes the master.